Hey guys, so um, if you're watching this, you probably already know who I am, but if you don't, that's cool. Uh, my name is Riley, Riley Christopher Gill for long, um, and you are about to watch a video autobiography about me. So without much else, I'm going to go ahead and jump into this. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So I was born on August 27th, 1998 at Frederick Memorial Hospital, Frederick, Maryland. I was born and raised in Frederick. I lived in the same house my whole life, actually. Um, so just grown up there. Um, this is my mom, Leslie. She is one of my favorite people on this earth. And this is my dad, Chuck, who I definitely get uh, my love of long hair from. Uh, my brother, Sloan, he's my older brother. He's 22, so we're separated by two years. And this is all of us. I don't have any baby pictures of my sister, but uh, that's her, Kendall. She's 17. Uh, that's my grandma, Judy. Uh, we call her Big Grandma. She is badass, honestly. This is my Aunt Chris and Aunt Kathy. Uh, Aunt Chris is actually my godmother, and she's who I got my middle name from. It's my Uncle Paul and my cousin Justin. Uncle Paul is actually my godfather. Um, yeah, so as a baby, I was relatively low maintenance, but... Um, there came a time where I actually started to not eat and I wasn't uh, responding to my parents and my parents started to worry. So I found out, well my parents found out that I actually had something called pyloric stenosis which means that the digestive tract on the way to your stomach is closing. So when I was a baby, which you see in all these pictures, um, I was basically starving to death. And so I had to have surgery as a young kid and I actually still have a scar on my stomach from that. But you know, after that I was still a little happy Riley. I uh, went and obviously, as you see, this is my, my baptism. Uh, my family's strong Christian family. We're all Lutheran. Um, my direct family, nobody else on the outside of my family is. So this is my step-grandfather, Doug, on my dad's side. He's my dad's stepfather. I never got to meet my biological grandfather, Charlie. He uh, passed away right as I was born. Um, I actually haven't spoken to Doug in a long time, or my grandmother, or anybody on my father's side of the family in a long time, so I'm going to speak a little bit about that. So I had that picture of my grandfather just because, not, not because he's uh, influential in my life still, but because an event that happened with my father's side of the family involved him and uh, my grandmother. Um, when About eight years ago in the spring, it'll be around the same time of Easter, my mom and my sister went on a mission trip to Mexico. And after that, my grandparents didn't support the decision. And to be quite frank, it was it was pretty racially charged. Um, my grandparents didn't want my my little sister, who was who was really young at the time. I don't remember exactly the age, but well, yeah, I guess about eleven. Um, wanted to go on this mission trip, and my mom was going to go with her, and they didn't support it. So after that, uh, we hadn't they they had a falling out with us said they never wanted to speak to us again, and um, we haven't. We, we haven't gotten in touch with them since then. The only time I know that my grandmother's tried to talk to anybody was um, this past May. She tried to get in touch with my brother because he was graduating college, and my brother actually, on his own, decided that he didn't want to speak to her. So I add that not because, like, oh, woe is me. Um, it was just influential in my life and it's a, it was a really important piece of my life because I haven't had any contact with, with my side of the family on my dad's side since then. So I just thought it would be uh, something that was really important to add in here. So moving on, I uh, started to get into middle school at this point and I was just growing up doing kid things with my family. But um, as I got back into middle school, I started to get into sports again. And for anybody that knows me, um, sports are one of the biggest pieces of my life, one of the one of the largest influences in my life. Um, so there's a picture of me playing soccer. I was terrible at that, so I tried giving lacrosse a shot, which also was not not a great idea. But then I found football and football is something that has has created me to be the person that I am today. I, I wholeheartedly believe that. Um, I played all the way through middle school and I began playing in high school as well. And I had a pretty I guess good career, I guess you could say, in high school. Um, some of my closest friends are, are men that I met throughout this time. And I ended up playing uh, football a year in college as well. And so you could say sports has is, is absolutely been, I don't want to say the, the sole factor of who I am, but it's been a really big influence on me. I was not recruited very heavily out of high school. I wasn't planning on playing, but I ended up playing at Grove City College in Northwestern Pennsylvania. It's a small uh, Christian school. 
so I really enjoyed my time at Grove City. Um, but as you know, I mean, I'm here, so I didn't stay there. Um, I didn't hate the school, but I just didn't feel at home there. And I had suffered a knee injury that kept me out half the season uh, my freshman year. And then I suffered another knee injury in the spring training program. So I decided to leave. So jumping back a bit, back into high school, um, I actually did track as well. I uh, picked it up from my father. He was a really talented athlete, track athlete in high school and college. So I decided to take it up when I got into high school and I started throwing shot put and discus. And I loved it. I honestly loved it more than football. Um, I was the first regional discus champion in my school's history. So that was a really cool moment for me in high school. And uh, my team was really good. We had a few state titles and it was just a really good experience for me throughout high school. But as the saying goes, all good things must come to an end. And much to probably the surprise of my parents, I graduated from high school and was on my way to Grove City. Um, it was exciting for me. I was getting to play college sports and I was just ready to be on my own. So off I went. So aside from school, um, I've had some of the best friends that anybody could ask for. I have a, a group of guys, it's 10 people, including myself. And I've known some of them since birth, some of them since elementary school, and I met some of them in high school, and we actually still keep in touch today. And it would be wrong to not include them in this because they are some of my, my greatest friends, my, my biggest supporters, and I'm just entirely thankful for them. All right, so I put my hat on, I was having a bad hair day, but uh, it's the price you pay for having long hair as a guy, I guess, I don't know. Um, but. So that is a small, small, small piece of my life, pieces of my life. Um, try to hit all the good stuff, you know, family and sports and school and, and my friends. Um, those were probably the four most influential parts of my life, obviously. Uh, they've, been, they've been there for me throughout my entire life and they have absolutely turned me into the person I am today. And I'm thankful for each, each person in my life and each event in my life that's brought me to where I am. Uh, it's been quite a ride. I've been, this is my third college now in three years, and I'm finally feeling like I can uh, have my own my own path, and I'm thankful for that. But yeah, uh, that's just, that's all the good stuff, I guess. Um, thanks for watching.